this boy? Well, I don't know anything yet. Obviously, I know it's a knee injury, but how severe or how serious, we don't know yet. Um, we had our team docs here and athletic trainers that jumped right in, so we'll probably get a better diagnostic test. Probably, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or by Monday or something like that. But she just kind of collided. With the, kind of yeah, landed, she kind of got, she just kind of collided and then and then landed landed funny on her one yeah. leg. We'll talk about that. I mean, that's regardless of how long it's. That's just a tough loss right the way at the beginning of the season here. I mean, well, it wasn't, and, I, and I've got to tell you, I, did, I didn't start Micah tonight because I told her she needs to look to score more. Yeah. And what I loved about the kid is she comes in and she does exactly what I told her she needed to do. And look at how she just took over the game scoring and things like that. So, you know, I, I hate injuries, but I realize they're part of the game. I'm just going to, you know, hope and pray that it's not serious. Talk a little bit about the overall effort tonight. It's a still pretty experienced team. There's a lot of familiar faces out there. There really are, and, and I liked our effort. I thought we did some really good things tonight. I thought we had moments where we took total control of the game, and then we kind of stepped back and let them, and, and give Truman State a lot of credit, but we let them get back in the game, gave up a little bit of dribble penetration, gave some open looks, and I thought we had some letdowns on the defensive end that allowed that to happen. We've got to learn to kind of take that lead and, and quite frankly, kind of push it into a bigger lead. Really nice start shooting wise there, 12 for 16 in that first quarter. You know you're probably not going to keep that up, but still that's a nice way to start. Just got an even confidence builder from the office. It really was, and I thought we did a great job getting some in inside touches, strong touches by our post players early on, and I think that, that helped us get that early lead. I've, I've got an awful lot of confidence in this team on the offensive end. I know we've got several different players. You know, We've got two of them that are going to come in here and be interviewed in a second that can go make plays, and, and we understand that. The, the thing that we keep pressing – as a, as a team and as a staff, is we've really got to pick it up on the defensive end and have that intensity for the duration of the shot clock. You got your better your newcomer here. Obviously, trying to kind of points kind of took over in the game. Well, there was one point where we we'd only given her one shot, and we just felt like we needed to give her a few more shots. So we set her up for a few scenarios, and then she just went and made made some plays. And that's that's the kind of player Sharonda is. About how big experiences for this group? Uh, you've got a lot of players that have played together. I mean, that's got to be a big factor this year. I, I think it will, and it's so early in the season. You know, you're starting the, the first exhibition game, the first time they all get to put uniforms on. I mean, Lauren hasn't had a uniform on in a full year, so I know the excitement's all there. Again, we just need to learn how to kind of control that tempo throughout a game, but I do think that veteran leadership is going to pay off for, pay off for us down the road. Talk about what Lauren did, guys coming back here in their first game uh, in my hometown. I think, I think she did a really good job. I think she controlled the tempo. The one thing that I've been on Lauren about doing is really making sure defensively she can get out there and get in the passing lanes. And I thought she did a really good job of that tonight. Of course, like any coach, I'm going to say it because she's right here too, there's always room for improvement. I mean, on the defensive end, we've always got room for improvement. But that's what's good about the early season is there's no way we're close to peaking right now. We've got a long way to go. Any other things you particularly saw tonight that kind of encouraged you from the first time out in the game situation? Yeah, I really felt like there, there was there was um, a period there. It was the it was in the first period um, at the five minute mark and under. I really kind of got on them about getting that defensive intensity up, and I think we came out and got two back to back steals and really kind of stretched the score there for a little bit. And those are the things I love when they respond to things like that. We've got you know we're going to have to learn how to get that full forty minutes together, but we'll get there. And I just like that. This is a good group and a team that it's not about any one person scoring or any one person making a great defensive play. The talk that I heard on the bench and those things are always encouraging. And I'm also going to do a kind of a preview about the whole season. Maybe just talk a little bit about your starters, kind of where they fit in and what you expect from them. Well, and, and I put a starting lineup tonight. I don't know if that will be a starting lineup the next game or the next game because I truly believe we've got about seven kids that could easily start night tonight. It may just be a matchup thing for us defensively. But I do like our guard play. I think we've got good guard play. I think we've got a strong inside game. Now we just need to learn to balance that a little bit. Talk about some of your other returning players, kind of what you expect from them. Obviously, no Shrondas. What you can see what she can do, but talk about what you kind of expect of some of your other players and kind of third parts of their game. You figure maybe it step up this year. Yeah, well, you've got Don Shelbeck, and I think I think Donnie got in early foul trouble, so you, you probably didn't see what she's going to bring to us every night. But Don Shell is just she's absolute all all out energy, great rebounder, goes to the offensive boards as hard as anybody I've coached, and I think those are the things that she's going to give us. That foul trouble kind of kind of hurt her a little bit from there. Gwen's just Gwen Adams is just. 
one of the probably the smartest kid, great basketball IQ, and has that ability to score on the inside and out. And I thought you saw that as well tonight. Talk about the, the bench too. It's like you've got some potential for some pretty good depth there. We really do. I mean, you've got Sidney Smith that comes all off and is a great three-point shooter, and then you've got Sidney Ballman, our nice six-three freshman, and I think she's going to really really develop and give us that big physical presence in the, in the post with that as well. And then um, Amory Wilder, who, who got some minutes tonight, some nice long athletic guard, helps with penetration, and I think she can really become a great defender as well. Talk about the confidence, too. I mean, you've got, uh, you got, obviously, you got a lot of expectations here with the, with the, you know, the preseason favorite, too, but talk about how you kind of feel like you kind of got to live up to that. You've got something to prove now. Well, you know, I, I think what we have to prove to ourselves is that, you know, I still think we're playing with a chip on our shoulder. We're the ones that, you know, we felt like we didn't quite meet all our expectations last year. So I think this group kind of walks out there with a chip on their shoulder every game, and I think that's going to be a positive thing for us. I think the conference, I, I, I really think from top to bottom, everybody got better. And I think you're going to see that once we get into OVC play, that I think the level of play this year in the conference is probably as good as it's been in my four years here. But all things considered, I guess, except for the – the injury of Micah, this is pretty much what you were kind of looking for this first time out. Yeah, it really was. I mean, again, want to control that, kind of control that tempo and control that pace, maybe stretch leads out a little bit more. But I liked I liked what our players did tonight. We, we've got an awful lot to work on, but that's what you expect this early in the season. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thank you.